What's going on everyone? You're watching Spartan G Game and I can't thank you all enough for joining me in this next Infinite Warfare Gold Camo Unlocking video. And this time the Gold Camo we've unlocked is for the classic ballistic rifle, the OSA. So if you are struggling with this one yourself guys, hopefully I can give you some great tips so that you can get it to gold fairly easy yourself. Now this is an awesome weapon guys, one of the best preferred weapons so far. Definitely going in my top three of best ever Infinite Warfare weapons so far. It'll do everything it says on the tin plus more. You should never really struggle to be honest with any of the camo challenges. They are very, very easy with this weapon. Now just to explain to you, if in case you don't know or you're just interested guys, the OSA is a full auto ballistic rifle. It is celebrated for its rapid, powerful fire rate. Now that means it's going to have a lot of bounce on it and very bad recoil. It's probably one of the worst, bounciest weapons I've used for recoil out of any weapon so far in Infinite Warfare. You can tame it if you want guys, but I would recommend not to tame it. But I'm going to give you some options in a short while. It works best, the OSA, when it is bouncing around and does have that very bad recoil. But as you can see here, while I'm running and gunning guys with this gold camo on, it really is a very, very pleasingly um, damaging weapon that will do the kills for you. So try not to change the weapon too much. It does also have an integrated grenade launch on it as well. So if you do wish to upset the enemy, because we know that's what the noob tubing is all about, guys, then you can use that to your advantage. And if you are going to use the grenade launch, you're going to hold Y button down on Xbox One. Or if you've got a PS4, it's going to be the triangle. So you can use that to your heart's content and upset the enemy. Now, first of all, for those camos to be on your way to getting this to gold, you'll need to get 200 kills in total first, like any other weapon that we've used so far, and that will not cause you any bother. You'll probably get those 200 kills like me out of the way in about four or five games. It is that easy, guys. Then you move on to eventually then get into the zebra camo, which is 160 headshots in total. Now, an attachment you can use to help along with this is the hollow point. It does do increased headshot lethality. It will put your accuracy up from 42 to 47. It will put your damage up from 78 to 85. And it will also put your range up from 80 to 83. So it is going to help you guys. But it's nothing like the high caliber we had in Black Ops 3, where you could shoot the body and it would still shoot the head. You still need to zoom in into the head with this weapon. But... Like I said, with that bounce, that recoil, you can get the headshots fairly easy if you do have that hollow points on. Now, this is the option I'm going to give you guys. If you do want and wish to tame that bounce, you can use the foregrip. I started to use this, but then realized that the OSA was very sluggish in getting its sights up. So I would prefer personally to use the quick draw instead of the foregrip. Remember, the bounce I said helped. You'll find you'll get so many headshots because of the bounce, guys. It hits the body first and goes up to the head. It makes sense. Use quick draw instead of foregrip, but it's up to you. You can use whatever option you want. Now, blind eye in perk one. These perks I'm showing you here are what I use for every single camo. I never change once. The, the, um, the perks, they, they, they went all the way through from one camo to another. We've got Ghost in perk one also. We've also got Scavenger. Remember, the OSA is going to use its bullets like no one's business, especially when you're getting those hard-on kills, and you're going to need to replenish your ammo. You know I love Dead Silence, guys. I always have that on. I love sneaking up behind the enemy, getting that nice, easy little headshot wherever I can, and that will help with that. Then, once you've got all the headshots, guys, they are fairly easy. Like I said, let the bounce work for you. You'll then move on to your autumn camo, which is 25 long shots. Now, there is something I can do to help you with this, and that's to put the rifled barrel on in your attachments. That will help you get the long shots. But to be honest, guys, you can get the long shots without the rifled barrel. The whiteout. Get 50 kills while aiming down the sights and using an optic. I would use and recommend the VMC optic, guys. You're going to have double zoom on there if you want to, and it does help have that little optic zoom on. Then the Bengal. Get 50 kills with this weapon with no attachments equipped. That is so easy, guys. Just take all your attachments off, get your kills. No problems at all there. The rapid kills. This OSA is good for rapid kills. Nothing else better than that, okay, guys? So the 20 rapid kills you need is not going to cause you any bother whatsoever. It's so easy. Then it's the Neon Tiger, the penultimate, penultimate one before you get to gold. And the Neon Tiger, you need to get three kills without dying 20 times. And again, I cannot explain to you how easy that is. That's all this gun does. It gets the rapid kills and gets the three kills. But one thing I'm now going to show you now, guys, apart from anything else, is 
the quad feeds with this weapon. I'm actually going to name and rename this weapon as the quad buster, I think, because the amount of quad feeds that I was getting with this weapon while I was running and gunning, trying to get this to gold, was unbelievable. So if you are after the calling card challenge in the killer section for the quad feed challenges you need to do, again, I think the OSA will probably help you. I think I haven't completed it yet, but I think I'm not far away from it. I think I need about another two, maybe one more quad feed, and then I've unlocked that calling card. But most, oh, all of my quad feeds came so far from the OSA. This is what this weapon is good for. So this is all I'm going to show you just to wrap this video up, guys, on the OSA, because the challenges, the cells are fairly easy. But like I said, the OSA will get the quad feeds, which is why I've renamed this gun. Actually, I'm going to rename it as the Quad Buster, because it is fantastically good for that. And you can see here another one. It doesn't matter what, uh, what game mode you play on, what game maps. I literally played on everything. I do prefer, personally, to keep to hardcore, because I do love hardcore. But um, in regards to the maps, I mean, we, we can only go into maps that um, our teammates vote on in the game lobby. So again, you're going to find that the preferred maps will be there anyway, like Frontier and Genesis and them kind of things. But wow, guys, what an awesomely fun gun to use. And you should not have any bother getting this to gold yourself. So that is at gold, guys, the OSA. That's the next classic weapon. Now, the next weapons we're going to go on to in the next video, I'm going to show you what we've got coming up. I'm actually now going for the gold camos on all the shotguns, so we haven't done them yet. We're now going to go on to them. I've used them a little bit by picking enemy uh, weapons up so far. But um, we're going to start off with the Reaver, then we're going to go on to the Banshee, and then we're going on to the DCM-8, and then finally the Rack 9. So that's what we've got coming up next on the video, guys, so look out for that. I'd really appreciate it if, you could, if you're after them yourself, then you can tune into them, and I'll show you how to get them to gold as well. Take care, guys. Thanks so much for watching.